Um, uh, okay, guessing from the title, you guys are probably thinking, uh, probably you guys already figured this out, but if you're look, watching my playlist, um, okay, uh, sadly, I regret to tell and inform all you guys, especially you, uh, uh, all you, uh, you know, critics, fans, and all that, that, um, famous film critic Roger Ebert, you know, the guy, you know, he, um, he and the late Gene Siskel who created the thumbs up, thumbs down, uh, he has sadly passed away today, um, now my basic reaction of this is like, I mean, it sucks. I mean, you know, I mean, like last year we lost way too many people, way too many famous people. I mean, we lost Whitney Houston, we lost Michael Clark Duncan. That that was a shock. We lost. I mean, we lost Donna Summers. We lost all these great people, Neil Armstrong, and now Roger Ebert, who really got me. I mean, James Rolfe got me to do YouTube videos, but Roger Ebert is what got me to do movie reviews. I mean, I mean I'd mean, i be doing YouTube videos, but I wouldn't be doing YouTube reviews. I, I wouldn't even be doing this. I mean, I wouldn't be doing this with all my reviews all the time. I mean, I mean it just sucks that he's, that he's gone because now we'll never see... I mean, I've been seeing a lot of, I mean, I, I just got into Siskel and Ebert. Now, now, as you all, anybody with a brain, you know, unless you don't know who Gene Siskel and Roger Ebert are, you know, anybody with, the, everybody does know that, you know, he passed away sadly back in 1999, which I always thought was a crying shame, you know, which was, you know, just sad because, you know, he never got to see any, uh, any of the great movies that we got back in, uh, all the way up in the 2000, the Christopher Nolan Batman movies, so on and so forth. And now, I mean, we're never, now, I mean, just think about this. I mean, I'm just, I have to lower my camera for a sec. I'm sorry. I'm just... I just found out about this. I mean, I mean, let's just think about this. We're never gonna see a his review of he'll ne We're never gonna see a review of his of Iron Man three. We'll never see his review of Man of Steel. Man of Steel. We're never gonna see what he thought, like what he thought of this Superman movie. We're never gonna see any of that again. We're not gonna see a critic like that again. I mean, he had a great team up with Roger. With well, he is Roger Ebert. He was Roger. I mean, with Gene Siskel. I mean, yeah, he teamed up with Richard Roper, but, you know, he... I mean, he's... I mean, now, at the movies itself, you know, let me flip this over because I keep on looking at the sign, but... Roger Ebert was the man. He was the critic guy. He is the guy who wanted me to make my films good. All right? I want to be a filmmaker. And I always imagined, I always dreamed of Roger Ebert doing a review of one of my films, you know, when I grew up. I mean, I always imagined him going like, oh, Donnie Benergy did a very good job. Uh, thumbs up. And even if he gave it a thumbs down, that would have been awesome for me. I would have been like, yes, oh, that's awesome. I gotta, that, that, that'd be awesome. And it's just sad and it's just freaky because on my way, and I'm, and I'm in my grandma's house still. Um, I'm in my grandma's house for spring break, and uh, we just dropped off my, uh, my co we just picked up my cousin from preschool, and on my way back from dropping her off, you know, uh, I'll, I'll, but on my way there, when I was on the road, I was just thinking about Psycho 2, and him and Siskel's review of Psycho 2, and it's just a freaking, it's, it's just a shot, I mean, it's just a, it's just a real shock to find out that he's gone. I mean, maybe a lot of people probably were expecting this because of the thyroid. I mean, now, let me, now, the cause of death at this point, because he just died. At the time I'm making this video, I just found out that he died. Um, and I haven't really found out that much, but from what, from what I understand, the, the loss of the jaw probably reduced probably the breathing or probably, you know, 
worsen the thyroid even even more, even without the cancer, and made him stop breathing or something. Like I'm not I'm not really good at med you know I mean I just threw something, um, but I just I just can't believe he's, he's I mean it's just it, it sucks it sucks that we are never gonna see a critic that amazing. You know, I mean, Gene Siskel and Roger Ebert, we're never going to see those two guys. Now, a piece of film history, because he was a part of the film industry and the crit and the critical industry, and the industry of criticism. He was part of both those industries, and he did a marvelous job, and the writing industry. He did a marvelous job on all of it. He did a marvelous job. He was a great, he was a great, you know, writer of reviews, with composition and all that. He was a great... He was a great critic, and he also is, you know, a great, he was a great comedian. I mean, he was funny when you saw his reviews with Gene Siskel and Roger Ebert, or even, well, I'm sorry, with Gene Siskel or Richard Roper. And now, since both of them are gone, it's basically, now, it's gone. We're never going to see something like that again. We're never going to see a critic like that. Now, I mean, when Gen Gene Siskel died... We all felt bad. I mean, well, everyone felt bad. I wasn't born yet. I was, my mom was pregnant with me, so. But when Gene Siskel died, everybody felt bad. Everybody. And we all felt bad about for Ebert because we all just were like, oh my goodness, this guy lost his partner. This guy was just like, what is Ebert? And, then, and now that Ebert's gone, it's almost like, now we're like, a piece of history is lost. It's almost like the 90s, the 80s, the, the, all of that stuff, the, and the 2000s has just passed completely because he was a part of that. He was a part of that because he, if it was a good movie, he just analyzed it brilliantly. And if it was a bad movie, he'd tear it apart. I mean, his North Review is funny. It's hilarious. Just talk to Nostalgia Critic. He loves it. And already... And, I just realized, now, imagine what the Nostalgia Critics thing are like, because those are his two favorite critics of all time, and obviously, he has to make a video about this, Doug Walker, make a video about this, we honestly want to know your opinion uh, about how you feel, I mean, and, you know, it just, it, it sucks, it sucks that, it sucks that he's gone, it sucks that we're never going to see any of, like, we're not, all the movies, and, and even in the early of the year. That's another sad part. It's just, we're never gonna see him, you know, I honestly wanted to, I don't know, maybe he already, maybe he already saw Retaliation and did his review, I, I can't remember, but, oh my goodness, his website, oh my goodness. I hope they don't tear that down. I hope they don't take that down, but it, now I'm just talking about his reviews and all that, but I also really wonder how people, how his wife, I mean, my thoughts, my deepest thoughts, prayers and condolences go to his wife um, and his fam and the rest of his family. Um, uh, I, I really have all the thought of, and to the, sh and to the Chicago Sun-Times. I mean... I mean, now the only thing we have left of at the movie's history, I'm not including the Ben, those two Ben dudes and uh, and A.O. Scott. I mean, A.O. Scott was okay, and Michael Phillips, they were okay, but they were they were no Roger Ebert and Gene Siskel. And Richard Roper was okay, but he's the only thing left of at the movies because he, anybody who worked with Roger Ebert on on the show at the movies, were a part of that history. When Roger Ebert left. The history was over. It was just done, all right? Richard Roper was the last part, and then it was over. So he's the last part of this history. Sure, he's not... Now, Richard Roper's not a great critic, but he's not the best critic ever. Sometimes he does it. He has no idea what he's talking about. But, you know, at least when he does a bad review. But, you know, but Roger Reaver... I still can't believe, he, can't believe he's dead. I still can't believe he's just... It's just like, there. You know, he's gone. I mean, I mean, well, the good thing, well, I mean, let's all just, I mean, we can all just say one thing, but, you know, we can all say one thing, we'll all, we can all say one thing, he
He's back with his partner. He's back with his partner. It's Siskel and Ebert again. Up there. May, so, yeah, may Roger Ebert rest in peace. Um, I'm gonna, I gotta say, I'm gonna miss that guy. I'm gonna miss that guy in his reviews. So, Cisco and Ebert, 1975 to 1999. Ebert and Roper, 19... Actually, no, 2000 to 2006. Roger Ebert. Roger, rest in peace. I give you, and I give you, Mr. Ebert, two.